Skip has done it. Down a hole. Oh! Beautiful chapter it is for the Bombers. Just a humble farming family. Great memories. Uh, um, bare feet, running around, um, having lots of fun. Uh, two loving parents, a great community that looked after us, and um, only fond memories. It was all about the local community. For us, as young kids, um, we we didn't have a lot growing up. It's a it's a large family, uh, um, so. Church and, and football were our weekends, like they're the two times we did get off the, the farm. Coming from a small community town like Hungary, and um, you know, sport was a pretty a, a key ingredient to uh, for people to get out and mix and, and catch up. So that was sort of embedded in you in pretty early in the piece, so that was uh, the thing that was just a done thing. A town of 300 people. I uh, was fortunate enough to have my dad and his two brothers married three sisters, so. I had a lot of cousins up there growing up, so there was 11 in our family, 11 in Uncle Jack's family, and there were six in Uncle Leo's, so when we all got together, there were a lot of Danaher's. So growing up as a young fella, if you had a footy, you could just about have a game. And growing up on a farm, you just had, you know, 5,000 acres to run around and run free. Very much a community-based, uh, you know, way of growing up. The old man, uh, he, uh, he worked pretty hard, but we all got our chores, so we all had to chip in. Milk cows were morning, we had to collect firewood to, you know, the, so the, the kindling was dry and, and so you could light a fire every morning. Mum was the one to cook and feed and wash for 11 children was uh, horrendous. She is a superstar, a saint, and I can always remember going into the laundry and finding just piles of clothes thinking, is she ever going to get through this? Terry and Estelle, Neil, Anthony, Dorothy, Colleen. It's tricky here. Colleen and Chris were very close. Colleen, I think, came first. I think. Chris, yeah. Angela, Julie, and Nez and Fiona. Early days, we thought everyone had 11 kids. Till we went to school, I said, where are your brothers and sisters? They all uh, helped each other. There was yeah, a few spats, but it was great having uh, kids like that. There's oh, always okay. something doing. We uh, encouraged them all to uh, play sport. Because if you didn't play sport, you went to the pub and drank and punted on horses. And I didn't want them doing that. Well, Neil uh, was the first probably to leave the farm, you know, and uh, uh, Estelle sort of moved away in the teens after she'd finished school, but most of us just went to school locally. At Hungary, Neil won a, he was fortunate enough to win a scholarship and went to Goulburn and spent four years there at St. Pat's. You know, that leaves a bit of a void, um, but you have to fill that void and you, you did miss them, but they were on their journey. So, uh, you know, Dad just said, okay, next one up, who, who, who's gonna take charge? And you'd have a moment there where you're the, you're the number one sibling which was kind of nice. I left at uh, about 17 years of age, 16 and a half, 17, and uh, I, oh, you just think the, there's a big world out there and you're gonna drive into it, and uh, it's pretty daunting. So I was only 13, I think, when Anthony left. So uh, I watched uh, their careers um, go from there. Um, Terry and Neil were already in Melbourne at Essendon. Um, so, um, and uh, as a young boy growing up, at, at 13 or 14, um, you know, you just uh, dreamt of, uh, of, of making um, the VFL back then. Um, dreamt about the opportunity that it might turn up one day. Every um, uh, AFL boy's dream would be to play an AFL game. Like, that's where it all starts. Never in childhood did we think we'd play VFL, but uh, Terry made the grade and uh, he uh, blazed the trail for all of us. I joke, we joke, uh, we said, well, if he can make it, we can. But uh, that dream was always there as the boys went away. And, uh, you know, that, uh, um, yes, I, I spent a lot of nights dreaming about the footy. Yeah. 